So as far as EBRD investing in Serbia, we are investing about 300 million a year. Last year we, we were a little bit more than 300 million. Um, we do have a desire and an intention to try to push that number up, uh, trying to reach in the 400 millions or even closer to 500 million. How can we do that? Uh, we've always financed a lot in infrastructure and lately the government has been controlling its debt borrowing so we're seeing a, a very uh, modest level of sovereign borrowing. Uh, but we do expect to finance a few more sovereign projects over the year or two ahead. That would be in rail, that would be in roads, that could also be in water infrastructure. Uh, Serbia has underinvested in its uh, irrigation, for example, over the last 20 years, so we could look at water systems. But more importantly, we'd like to finance the private sector, and that means attracting investors, both domestic investors and foreign investors. Last year, our biggest investment was 100 million euro with a private uh, retail chain. Uh, this year, I would expect some of our big investments will be in private infrastructure, and by that I mean wind farms. Uh, we're working with a couple of companies on wind farms. Uh, we're also we're looking at a couple of property deals. We're looking at some agribusiness. We're looking at uh, um, we're looking also at municipal projects. So without a sovereign guarantee, but working with municipalities. And I think you see some of that in Belgrade, you see some of the infrastructure improvements. So we're looking across the border. How can the government help and how can we help the government? The government is doing a lot to improve the investment climate. First of all, the macro environment has to improve. It's, it's, it has improved. So a lot of congratulations to the Serbian government for getting the macro environment in place. But the macro en environment is only half the story. Then you have to get the, the, the regulatory and the governance in place, and they're working on that. We're trying to help them on things like improving the judiciary, we're trying to help them on things like improving the procurement laws, we're trying to help them on things like public-private partnerships. Uh, we've been working on alternative dispute resolution, which will help in contract enforcement, and here you see we're helping on non-performing loans and addressing non-performing loans. So all of that soft infrastructure will make it easy for investors to invest, leading to more growth, allowing for the public infrastructure to be used effectively. And it's an all uh, a very big picture. Today in uh, this conference, we've been talking about integration. Of course, that means integration of the Balkans, but also integration to the European Union. Um, and I think both of those things, getting the physical infrastructure right and the soft infrastructure right, will be vital to both local integration and European integration.